So I, aside from those recommendations, I want to talk to you about the specifics of the the threat to America, to this civilization, to the extent that a serious percentage of this society has contempt for its flag. A new development as well. There have always been some. So I have two recommendations for you that help. I mean, I, I have been affected. I'm not the same happy-go-lucky guy that I was six months ago. I'm not depressed. I function fine. I enjoy my life. But there's no doubt in my mind that I, it has affected me. How could it not affect me? America's the last best hope on earth, as, as Lincoln put it, and Lincoln statues are being torn down. So, of course, I'm affected. So, aside from the, those recommendations that I made on, on a micro level, here are some other, uh, well, they're both micro and macro that I recommend to you. First, what is of huge help uh, to me and I think would be to any of you, is to find kindred spirits. Uh, as you know, I announced this from, from March. Uh, there's virtually no Friday night that I do not have a Sabbath meal with friends. My house, their house. It, 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 I have never allowed the fear of COVID to stop me from being with people I love, right? Uh, I, I, the risk of dying from COVID, if you are healthy, is so minuscule uh, that the price to be paid, I am not with people I want to be with, is absurd. Just absurd. That's my view. Now, if you are in a, a, a category of people that for whom getting COVID uh, is a serious threat to your life, uh, that's a separate issue. We've always felt that way. But the vast majority of you listening, that does not apply to. So you should be getting together with people who bring you comfort, people with whom you can speak openly about what uh, you think about anything. As you know, I have said on this program all of the 20 years that I've been broadcasting the Happiness Hour, people should date for friends as seriously as they dated for a spouse. Friends are critical, and it's a good example of Preparing for rainy days. Life should consist of tremendous amount of preparing for rainy days. Now you realize how important friends are. Maybe you didn't realize it when things were so good and, you know, you were just concerned about your profession or or even just your family. Completely understandable to be preoccupied with career and family. But it's not enough. You should have been preoccupied with making friends. You should have been preoccupied with having a religious life. A, a, a great number of synagogues and, uh, and churches are, are failing at this time. They are failing to, to fight for this country and liberty, including religious liberty. They are failing to get together as much as possible, either Zoom or in person. So that's very sad to report, but it is what it is. 